Here's the old belt from this tractor. Looks a little worn, but it might still work. I'm going to try it. You can tell there's no spring in the system that keeps tension on the belt. So that's what I'm going to work on next. The spring goes under this cover right here. Well, I couldn't find the old spring in my bucket of parts for this tractor. And frequently they're bad or missing anyways. What I found as a reasonable replacement that you can buy new nowadays is this spring right here. It's made by Century Spring Corporation number C-231. Now I bought these at my local tractor supply store and I think they're pretty widely available. Now I do modify the end a little bit because you need a different shape of a hook on the end. So what I do here is start at the base and just try to unwind that curve. I don't really change it at the end of the bend. Just need to create a gap in there so you can hook it on stuff. I'm going to hook one end of this spring in this hole here and lay it on top of the brake band and then go around back. The other end hooks to this hole in the transmission casting. The belt flops around a lot when it's out in the open, but it's the belt guard's job to keep that under control. If the short linkage going down to the brake band is adjusted properly, then this parking brake should work. That looks okay there. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Alright, I'm going to put some patina on this belt guard. I'm going to spray it down with WD-40 and let it sit overnight. Alright, it's the next day. Most of this WD-40 is dripped to the bottom. So I'm going to wipe it down and it's ready to go.
Well, the thing ought to be able to move under its own power now. It's acting like it's out of gas. I'm gonna pressurize the fuel tank. That went fairly well, but I could tell in third gear that the belt was slipping. So I'm going to put this new belt on there. This is a generic belt from the hardware store, size A68.
Okay, this works great. The belt definitely don't slip anymore. All the gears work nicely. Don't hear any unusual noises. Except for the slight rod knock at idle. That's still an issue. But apparently the fuel pump's working. Gotta keep an eye on that. Testing out that new diaphragm material. Well, I want to talk about this belt guard for a little bit. One of the main jobs of the belt guard is to hold the belt in position when you have the clutch pushed in. This finger on the bottom needs to be there. It should not be rubbing the belt when the clutch pedal is up and the belt's turning, but it needs to be fairly close. When you push down on the pedal, the belt should be resting on that finger and on top the belt guard should be holding down on the belt so when the clutch pedal is in the belt shouldn't be touching the pulley at all well that's as far as I'm going this time there's a few more things I need to finish up and then I'll start working on the hood Alright, that's it.